In 2004, scientists discovered the oldest recorded evidence of a human bond with felines dating back more than 9,500 years ago, as they unearthed the mummified remains of a small child embracing the skeleton companion of a primitive cat. In ancient Egypt, cats were considered sacred animals and were depicted with great veneration in Egyptian art. Cats first appeared in Greek art 500 years before Christ was born. They began emerging in Japanese art in the 10th century. Soon thereafter, they could be found occasionally in Dutch, French and Italian art. The esoteric nature and elegant form of cats has been portrayed frequently and reverently throughout almost every era of historical art. Tim Cantor found this allure at an early age, as his constant love for cats can be seen randomly within his paintings throughout his life. He grew up with cats continuously within his family, and when Tim and Amy first met, they took in a grey and white female cat named Bean. Her spirit appeared periodically in paintings such as Centre of Attention and Alliance, and lastly emerged in Aid Memoir, completed in 2010, a painting that draws upon the perspective of youth as it compares to the observations of adulthood. This painting was likely set forth from the grief Tim felt, as his longest-lived cat's life was nearing her end after 21 years of age, thus bringing about thoughts of the passing of time and reflections of a carefree childhood. Bean rests within this composition as she usually slept in life, curled in a ball, as was her posture when she departed from their lives. Although Bean held Tim's highest affections as a pet, one will find in his paintings beyond the year 2004 that he had developed an intense artistic draw towards more unusual breeds of cats. In 2012, one year after Bean had died, Tim and Amy adopted a sphinx named Rapunzel, a pure white oddity with not a stitch of fur. But Tim's appeal for these types of cats came long before Rapunzel entered his life. In fact, the genesis of his fondness came by way of a lovely couple that collected his art, named Linda and Donna. They had previously purchased a painting by Tim featuring a cat that somewhat reminded them of their own. Theirs was a black Cornish rex, named Gaia, who was half the size of a normal cat and had a genetic flair that would have her at a loss for most of her fur. Through their love for Tim's art, Linda and Donna soon became friends with he and Amy, which forged an inevitable encounter between Tim and the eccentric feline named Gaia. Tim was captivated by the cat's unique appearance and soon began sketching visions of Gaia's likeness as it had imprinted in his mind. No other animal had quite inspired Tim to the level that this small autonomous cat was able to do. Gaia became the inspiration for many paintings, such as Ming's Dynasty, Samurai, and Hatchling. She had also sparked the entire fascination Tim had with hairless cats. As Tim discovered the Sphinx breed, he began painting a combination of his memorised concepts of Gaia's characteristics mixed with his studies of the Sphinx. The frivolously posed cat that Tim rendered in his painting Aristocratic Man is a befitting example of where Tim fused the personage of Gaia with a strangely imagined Sphinx. Contrary to Tim's overwhelming admiration, many people are of the opinion that hairless cats are unsightly and ghoulish. This perceived quality was the motivation for the meaning that resonates from Aristocratic Man, which tells the tale of a misunderstood man who directs his affection and protective will towards those who are weak and estranged. In his painting, My Beloved, Tim has seemingly combined inspirations from Siamese and Sphinx cats with Gaia's prolonged shadowy profile. However, the most accurately composed true-to-life representation of Gaia was in Tim's 2009 painting, Precious Possessions. In this image, Tim faithfully portrayed this darkly misconstrued creature as having the same loving charm as a child's playthings. 
Here we catch sight of Tim's further endearment to this small, odd being, seeing beyond his enticement to her alluring peculiarities, and understanding that Tim feels personally endeared to Gaia. Tim's poses and compositions are always imagined, and his cats are stylized from recollection. Yet Gaia made a profound impression on Tim, altering, intensifying, and ultimately expanding his lifelong rapture with cats.